guys, it's Heidi again and welcome to Crafted and Company. Today we have a video of me making a wooden shelf for this boat you see behind me. Um, I have been, I bought this boat, I had it in a previous thrift haul video and originally um, I had purchased it to go in my bedroom but uh, I bought it at like a antique um, kind of a vintage uh, mall with a lot of different booths and and I found it there and just loved it so I picked that up but I w decided I wanted to display it in my dining room instead I just it, it's been sitting here on my hutch and I'm like you know this just I'm really feeling that vibe in here I'm really liking it in here but um, it wouldn't fit on my hutch, you know, shelf, it's too tall, and it wouldn't fit above, it's too tall. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I need to build a shelf and put it, uh, you know, in my dining room and display it there. And um, so that's what we're doing today. I just haven't, um, I have so much repurposed wood lying around, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna make one. I'm just gonna make one. I got a brand new Brad Nailer for Christmas. I did a video on that box unboxing. And um, so I'm gonna give it a go, you guys. And so I thought I'd take you guys along with me and uh, have a little fun with it. So yeah, let's, let's get started. So this is the old barn wood. And I am going to measure to see how long of a shelf I can make. So, it's a little longer than three feet. So, 40 inches long. So, 20 inches would be half. So, that's, that's perfect. What I want to do is save some off like the end and then do one of these and use them as my braces. So that's what I want to do. So I will start figuring this all out. I will show you here what I did. So the first piece I cut broke, but then I had another piece and I went ahead and cut that. And I just wanted some of these to support the shelf. So it'll go like this. I didn't want brackets or anything like that. I just wanted it all wood okay so that's how that's gonna go now I'm gonna sand all this wood and I'm probably gonna have to put a little stain or something um, some kind of wash just to help it blend in so let's get started and get this all sanded down this old wood it's got dirt on it probably what moss or you know that all kinds of stuff maybe even some mold <laughs> so we just want to get it all cleaned up and uh, yeah so let's get to it I want to put these two together so I'm gonna speed things up we're gonna put a bead of wood glue I want this to be my top
Okay, so I did struggle a little bit with getting this attached. It's good now, um, but it took a minute <laughs> um, to get a feel for the Brad Nailer. And um, so I got it nice and secured. I have my strip of wood glue on there. And so now I'm going to attach these guys here and here. So right, right on the edge. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this is supposed to look rusty, you know, rustic, I should say, not rusty. <laughs> Um, and not perfect. Okay. So it's not going to be perfect by any means. I don't want it to look perfect. Um, so, so far I'm glad I got this attached. I'm glad with how the wood is working out. And so, yeah, so let's go ahead and get these attached and, um, and then, uh, then, then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so this is what we got. Now, I have never built a shelf from repurposed wood before ever. So this is a first time and it's not perfect because it's not perfect wood. So I have a little gap there, but that'll be facing towards um, the wall. Um, this side looks a lot better. Um, I did have one little brad nailer that went through there, but the way the shelf will be hanging, you really won't see it. So now I am trying to, it's pretty solid. Um, so now I'm trying to figure out the hangers for it. And I don't think I'm going to do, um, I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. It's not super heavy. And what's going to be on it isn't super heavy either. So I'm not super worried about it. Um, so I think I'm just going to put regular um, hooks on it. And then I'm going to get... I just don't know what I want to do with this. Part of me is like, should I just seal it and just let it go? Like even this? So what should I do? now part of me just wants to leave it just the way it is oh it'll darken up when I get the sealer on there so maybe I will just seal it then put my hooks on it and hang it up hmm hmm let me go check out some stain that I have and then I'll kind of go from there. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I did stain that right there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stain. We'll see. I might feel like that kind of needs. stain the whole thing. I think I will. I think I'll just stain the whole thing. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I did stain the whole thing. The sun is really bright. So I got it stained. And so now 
Um, I'm going to seal it, let it dry, put the hangers on the back, and then we're gonna get the hooks on here. And yeah, I'm happy. I think it looks, it's gonna look great. So cool. Okay. And that is what you can do with repurposed wood. Don't throw that stuff out. That was a junky piece of wood. Turned it into a nice shelf. Let's get it sealed. I wanted to add too that I started seal or uh, staining it and I got a phone call. And so I just kept staining off camera <laughs> so I could get it done. So, all right. So now what we're gonna do is place the anchors and I was off, I was wrong about something. I thought there was a screw that went through there and there's not. So I don't know how well you guys can see that. So, but I think because of these right here, that is gonna hold that together. So, and the wood glue. So I think we'll still be fine and there's, this is just going to be hanging. It'll be fine. And it's not cracked all the way through either. So it's still one piece. So, so now I'm going to get these put on. Okay, so I'm gonna speed things up, but this is why I love this little Black & Decker drill with these interchangeable bits because that's so easy and it is amazing for little projects like this. So let me speed things up and let me get these things screwed in here. So now that we have the anchor hooks on, now I'm going to put the hangers on the back. So that is step two. And it is ready to hang. So let's hang it and see how it looks. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of black paint here and dab over. It's just black chalkboard paint. And I'm just gonna dab over these screws since they're silver and they do not match. I get this at Dollar Tree and I'll tell you what, it is some great black little 
craft paint. Okay, so we will just let that dry and then we're gonna hang the shelf. guys well I really hope that you enjoyed this video and for anyone who wants to make one of these shelves um, the piece of wood was 40 by 7 inches by 1 so um, it was a 1 by 7 by 40 I guess um, the hooks I honestly cannot remember where I got these specific hooks these anchor hooks um, so for anyone who actually likes the anchors and would love to make their own shelf, um, I did find them on Amazon very, very similar for a set of three for the four and a half inch anchor, which mine are basically four and a half inches long. Um, I did find a pack of five that are three and a half inches long. I will put that link in the description as well. And... Um, so if you have, if, if you're building the uh, shelf, you know, and you don't have repurposed wood, um, if you go to the lumber yard, um, they probably sell the wood in like a four foot um, board. And then you would just have to, you know, cut it accordingly. And you don't have to make it 18 inches long because I did two 18 inch boards. And then I took the remaining four inches and then, you know, I ain't, I cut that in half at an angle, okay, corner to corner. And then that made my um, supporting uh, brackets there. And, um, and then if you do not have a brad nailer, um, you can use screws. 
um, just make sure you drill a pilot hole so you don't split the wood. Um, but that's what I would have done if I didn't have a brad nailer. I definitely would have used, you know, screws. Um, so you can do that. And so, yeah, you guys, um, I also really enjoyed being able to pull out some things that I've kind of been stashing, um, like the, the seagrass bag that I couldn't wait, um, to hang up there. Um, the handle has like navy, um, you know, wrapped twined in with that around the handle. And I just love that. And um, so I was able to use that. I was finally able to display my boat. So, you know, properly. <laughs> it's been displayed, but not properly. <laughs> so I'm finally really glad it's got a uh, forever home <laughs> um, for now. You know, I mean, if I ever choose to redecorate, that's why I wanted to make the shelf a little whiter in case I ever want to change up my decor and, and put something else on the shelf for a while, you know, switch it out. Um, but for now, this boat has found a happy home and I'm happy. I get to enjoy it. And yeah, so you guys, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That just means the world to me. Thank you so much if you already have um, for supporting my channel. And um, yeah, it means so much. I know I've just got this little baby channel that I'm inching along. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, so you guys, I will see you in the next one.